In this section, we're going to look at Microsoft Azure. With Office 365, you automatically get Azure Active Directory. This is the authentication model that is used by Office 365 and all the other services such as Forms, Sway, OneDrive, etc. So let's go into the admin console. And on the left hand side, we're going to select Azure AD. So we're logged into the Azure AD portal. You can see with on the left hand side, we have some users and groups and other options. So in the left hand menu, let's go into Azure Active Directory. We have multiple options in this section. You can go to users and groups. And once we're into users and groups, you can see how many people of users have signed in. You can also do password resets and open up the users. You can see here that we have just the two users in this demo tenant. If we select the user, we can also go and do a password reset. We can also add a new user into Azure AD and also configure multi-factor authentication if you require this for further security. This is Azure Active Directory and is what you get with Office 365. If you want enhanced Azure, then you can use a paid for subscription such as a pay as you go subscription, which will then allow you to install virtual machines, SQL databases, etc. So we need to look at how we can add a paid for subscription. So if we go to the dashboard and then click on the option for portal.azure.com. This is the main Azure portal. If we just skip the tour at the moment and you can see on the left hand side, we have more options. So we can see the virtual machines that we talked about, SQL databases, etc. You won't be able to add any of these unless you have a paid for subscription. So if we go to cost management and billing, you see in the cost management and billing that the Azure Active Directory subscription that you get with Office 365 does not appear. So we need to go to new subscription and we have some options here and we're going to select pay as you go. The pay-as-you-go subscription is very much like a mobile phone pay-as-you-go subscription where you pay for what you actually use. All you need to do is add in your user details and then once you've done that you have to verify by phone and verify your payment information. You will only be charged for what you actually use using this subscription. So if you add a virtual machine you will pay for using that virtual machine. So once you've completed that, in the next module, we're going to look at how we can add virtual machines and SQL databases.